Leaky, leaky, darling. There you are. Don't tell me you were dreaming about another woman. My feelings would be oh so hurt. I don't know. You kept saying some name over and over again. Sure as heck wasn't mine, so. Do we have something to fight about or not? What book? This one? <laughs> Why would I want to read a dusty old book? <sighs> Fine. If you insist, master. Hmm. Deities. I see. Caught up in your studies as usual. What has you so obsessed with this deity, anyways? Ugh. You and your academic achievements. Must you always be number one? Kidding. Of course. I understand. You indeed must always be number one. It is important to both of our end goals. <sighs> There's just something about you, you know. You always find the key to more knowledge. I won't be surprised if one day it turns out to be infinite. It's why I admire you so. Is there anything I can do to help you with your studies, master? If I remember correctly, you need to uh, practice at alchemy a little bit. Spells come naturally to you, of course, but... For some reason, you just can't master potion making. I wonder why that is. Clearly your reading comprehensions far above those of your peers, but implementing it? Placing ingredients into a cauldron and mixing. For some reason you just don't have that special touch. <laughs> I could help you though. Why have a demon at your back and call if you don't even enjoy the perks every once in a while? I could bless you with ancient knowledge. By simply snapping my fingers, all you have to do is ask. And then, of course, we can write up some sort of exchange. <gasps> oh, you wound me, master. Why on earth would you think I'm not trustworthy? Well, of course, there would be an ulterior motive. I am a demon. It's in my nature. I will admit, though, you are not the easiest to deceive. You're quite perceptive. I suppose that's how you ensnared me into this enslavement in the first place. <sighs> not at all. It's been a very enjoyable enslavement thus far. You never failed to keep things interesting, although I will admit 
I miss my parties down in hell. I always threw the most extravagant soirees. All the princes of hell used to attend. I know. For a little old succubus like me. That's how you know they were good. Gone are those days, though. You wish for me to fetch you another book? <sighs> you could simply sway your hand and have it levitate across the room into your hand. Why do I need to go and retrieve it for you? <laughs> Is that so? Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Which one do you require? This dusty old thing. I see. Quite a powerful tome. I can feel its energy resonating deep within the pages. It needs only to be deciphered. Don't worry. I wasn't going to offer to help you translate them this time. You... already planned on saying no. I can see it in your eye. Pity. It would have been so easy for me as well. An ancient language lost to you. But to me, I spoke it what? Only one or two centuries ago. It could still roll off the tongue easily enough. If you let me. Nobody give you a freebie. Word. It's simple. It means I. I, as in you're talking about yourself. You always overcomplicate things, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's quite simple, really. Look at this one. The characters, they're similar. It means I am. You are. I told you only one freebie, didn't I? And, well, that was technically two, wasn't it? So. Of course I wouldn't charge you for it. The second one's because I like you, silly. Goodness me. Fine, if you insist. Hand me your stupid piece of paper and I shall write it down for you. But I won't translate anything else. Unless you give me something that I want. <laughs> oh, you know. Just simple things. I wouldn't dare ask 
anything of you that would cause you harm. At least not immediately. At least not in this lifetime. <laughs> Always asking intellectual questions, aren't you, Master? Well, that would of course depend on how difficult the translation is. <laughs> no, no, you misunderstand me. I am fluent in this language, and of course it would be no trouble at all for me. I mean the difficulty for you. If you did not have my help, what you will offer me depends on the difficulty you would have translating the script. Perhaps if you would like to assess, you should study it more. The alphabet could be simple enough. But you still know nothing of the language. And there are no known translations. How convenient for me. <laughs> Indeed. What would I require from you? For a written copy of the alphabet. Let's say a small teeny weeny itsy bitsy kiss on my cheek. <laughs> no. It's no trouble to you at all. Why would you not want to give it to me? But of course, it is in my nature to steal a small portion of your energy through such acts. But you have so much. You're really not willing to share a little bit. It would replenish within a fortnight. Fine. All I wanted was a little pick-me-up. But I suppose you'd rather find out for yourself. Is that it? I can allow you to do that, but... You'll be struggling for some time. That, I can assure you. The only exam you have left is your alchemy. No one will notice if a small portion of your mana is missing. But fine. Suit yourself. Whatever you wish, master. Hmm. <sighs> What's that? Don't tell me you've changed your mind. Oh. No, of course not. I will not repeat it for you again. I already marked it down for you. Is that not enough? <sighs> Why don't you just take my offer then? Just a little bit of your mana. And a small kit. It's all I require. You wouldn't even notice it was missing. I swear.
Hmm.